Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Friday mountain weather update, and it is a powder day across a lot of Utah and Colorado as well. Let me take you to snow mass out here in Pitkin County, western slope. Picked up about six, five, six inches in the last 24 hours. I still think you could pick up another three to six inches of accumulation before this storm system is all said and done because it will continue to snow off and on today and then likely another shot of snow coming in tomorrow. So there's still additional accumulation across Colorado in my forecast here. It is snowing and blowing. This is Breckenridge up there in the 10 mile range. You can see the wind, uh, occasional gust of 50 miles per hour up there across the 10 mile range, but uh, snowing up there as well. I think you could pick up another three to six on top of what you've already got. And uh, it's been snowing pretty hard down at Arizona Snowball there. Um, you've probably got a foot of snow yet to go. Uh, there we go, it updated to the daylight. Um, but you've still got a fair amount of snow yet to go down there uh, around the Arizona Snow Bowl. So, uh, and big snow up at, as expected here. This is Alta, 22 inches in the last 24 hours. That's exactly what I was thinking, about 22. And then you're going to add another 8 to 10 inches uh, with this push coming in through Saturday with the possibility of some of that being a contribution off the Great Salt Lake. So you're not done, but a huge powder day. Hopefully they can get that road open. I know they're doing mitigation. Um, so it's, it could be a little bit uh, of a time with that, but uh, big snow today. Here's radar across the west. Um, so we've got a couple of things. You've got your current storm system over Wyoming uh, and rotating through Colorado, and then you've already got the next wave of moisture, this little backside low that is starting to hit uh, California with uh, heavy precipitation. I'll take you in closer. So this is going to deliver probably another foot of snow to a lot of Tahoe down to Mammoth. And then there's another storm behind this one, which is uh, more of a traditional larger type storm system. So the flow remains active. Here it is in Colorado. You can almost kind of see the spin with this area of low pressure coming across I-70. So again, a lot of places still another three to six inches of accumulation uh, yet to go in Colorado. Here's water vapor across the west. So oranges and reds are going to be your drier air in the low levels, your moistures in the whites and the blues. And well, there's our area of low pressure, and then there's a tiny kicker right here coming in behind it that will kind of follow and turn the flow more towards the west-northwest or northwest flow. So that's going to be a, a huge benefit to a lot of ski areas, uh, especially uh, like around Vail in Colorado. Vail to Summit County up to the Continental Divide. That's why I think in some of those areas, I think you're going to end up on the higher end with additional accumulations as a result of this, maybe six, seven, eight inches up there at Loveland Ski Area, um, up to uh, that whole area, A Basin, Winter Park. I think you could you could pick up quite a bit of additional accumulation once that settles in. Okay, let me show you my snow timeline. Best odds of snow for Big Sky, the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Interior, BC, the Pacific Northwest, Tahoe, and the Northeast, and uh, Big Sky. You picked up 11 inches of snow in the last 24 hours, and your next big shot comes with the next storm system, 315 into 318, kind of a steady, heavy accumulation throughout that time period. In the Wasatch, your snow for today is pretty much done, but your next shot is on 315, and that's going to be uh, that's going to include that uh, lake effect, that Great Salt Lake effect uh, contribution, moderate to heavy. And then uh, on the next storm, 317 to 318, that's going to be heavy as well. A lot of snow yet to go for the Wasatch Tetons, light to today, and then heavy 315 through 317 in Colorado, moderate to heavy today, light into tomorrow. That's that lingering northwest flow. And then on 318, uh, that next actual storm system, moderate to heavy. And you can see the other amounts. Tahoe, you've got it today, and then you've got heavy on 317. And I really don't have anything for the northeast. All right, let me drill down to Alta. So here we are up in Little Cottonwood Canyon, Alta, Utah. Now, this the, the snow that it generates, that's from last night, early this morning. So that's all done. Um, so what, what comes next? Well, it's this snow that comes in tonight and throughout the day tomorrow into early 16. That's going to be your little kicker low with the Great Salt Lake, um, Salt Lake Lake Effect contribution. And that's going to be anywhere from potentially 6 to 10 inches, 8 to 10 inches of accumulation for a lot of Alta. Snowbird solitude and brighton. Winds today decrease. Temperatures are cold. Single digits and teens today. Tomorrow, single digits and teens. Winds kick up with this next storm up to about 40 miles per hour. And that wind is primarily out of the west-northwest. That should be a pretty good snow producer. 
for a lot of little and big cottonwood canyons. So you've got additional snow coming. Okay, let's go up to Jenny Lake up in Wyoming. This is effective about 86, 8700 feet. So again, very light snows today. And then the snow picks up a little bit on Saturday the 15th, and then it definitely picks up on the 16th. Uh, this generates about 10 to 13 inches of accumulation, and I think that's right on the nose. Uh, winds today anywhere from 20 to 40. Air temps are in the teens tomorrow, teens to about 20. Winds kick up tomorrow at about 50 miles per hour with that next wave coming in. So uh, new snow comes in tomorrow into the 16th. Okay, let's look at the jet stream forecast. And I'll start this early today. So what you're looking at here are jet winds up at about 30,000 feet. And I'm looking for the brighter colors, the oranges, the reds, the tans. That's what's guiding these storm systems around the country. And it's easy to spot the dips, the ripples. You've got one over Colorado, Utah, Wyoming today. You can see the dip. And then there's another little one behind it. That's the little kicker low coming into California, Oregon. Let's move this ahead in time. And there it goes. I mean, you can see the backside area of low pressure coming through there in the early Saturday through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona. And then it moves out into the heartland, becomes a major severe weather producer. Um, with a lot of jet support, shearing, instability, all that good stuff. Okay, and then across the west, it's a little bit of a wait right there, but here comes the next storm system. You can see the dip in the jet, that trough. This is late on Monday, the 17th. That moves through Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado into the 18th and early 19th, and then it moves out. A little high pressure right there, but here comes the next storm system right there on roughly the 20th into the 21st, that slides through the Intermountain West. Okay, as far as snow accumulation over time, start this early today. So on this, the light blues are going to be your lightest accumulations under 3 inches. Greens are 3 to 6, yellow 6 plus, reds 10 plus. So there it is. I mean, by just early today, you've got moderate to heavy snow over parts of Wyoming and Colorado, northern New Mexico, and then you can see the next wave hitting California, Oregon. All right, here we go. Early on uh, Saturday, you've got additional snow coming down across the Wasatch, especially little and big cottonwood canyons. You've got snow in Arizona, snow in New Mexico, snow in um, Oregon, Washington, California, um, and, the, and the Tetons and Idaho as well. All right, here comes our next storm system. This is early Sunday 16. Look at all that heavy snow. And then it builds into the Sierra and makes its move, pivots into the Inner Mountain. This is early on Tuesday, March 18th. It rotates through Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, and then into Colorado. And that may bring a little bit of snow to the Denver metro area as well. And then that moves out into the heartland of the country with some snow. All right, one more little storm system, and here it comes. This is early on Friday, March 21st. You can see it rotating into the Pacific Northwest, and then it goes down into Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, and Colorado. All right, my forecast, snow accumulation looks like this. Snow for the rest of today through the 17th, so just through the 17th. And remember, there's another storm system, late 17, 18, 19. So this is just, you know, this is just the front end of all of this. Uh, in the uh, the Wasatch, anywhere from 4 to 10 inches. 8 to 10 up there in Little and, Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons. Uh, up in parts of Wyoming, anywhere from 15 to 20 inches of additional accumulation. In Colorado, uh, looking at uh, 6 to 8 inches, 6 to 10 inches of additional accumulation, depending on your where, where you're at. Um, and in northern New Mexico, anywhere from 6 to 10, looking at probably 9, 10, 11, 12 through southern Utah, down towards Flagstaff, Arizona, Snow Bowl area. In the Sierra, we could be looking at another 2 to 3 feet of accumulation with what we're going to see today and then the storm system behind it. Up in the Pacific Northwest, the numbers are pretty big through a lot of Oregon. Looking at three or four feet there. Interior BC, probably a foot to 14 inches of accumulation through the 17th. Idaho looks great, 20 to 24 inches, and roughly 10 additional inches through a lot of Montana. And then again, there's another storm system coming after this. Now I am zeroed out for the Northeast. There's a rain event coming for pretty much all elevations between the 16th and the 17th, late 16th into early 17th. So just no snow accumulation, starting to get to that time of the year. Um, so we'll end on the big western map here, guys. Uh, it's going to be a good uh, three, four, five days ahead.
for a lot of the West with big powder and two storm systems. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.